ladies and gentlemen, this is General Lightning, and FYI, today I'm going to show you Blacklight Re Retribution, Revelation, Reincarnation, something, Re I think it's Retribution, Blacklight Retribution, yes, there we go, and, uh, it's actually, this is a free-to-play game, uh, FPS, um, that just came out on Steam, and I've played a lot of, uh, free-to-play FPSs, um, like, uh, like, Combat Arms and Armas and things like that, but this, this actually has a lot of polish to it, in it, it, I think it deserves a little bit of, uh, um, looking at it. it's actually pretty fun. So uh, we're gonna look first. I'll show you as every free-to-play FPS It has a uh, marketplace and things where you can buy weapons and it goes pretty deep. Uh, you can see my gun um, My rifle right here um, And you can choose what kind of uh, gun it is whether it's like a bolt-action rifle or a burst fire or some machine gun light machine gun heavy assault rifle tactical SMG blah 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 and then you can go even deeper um, modify the muzzle and you can see here it clearly tells you which um, attribute it's modifying which is really helpful because sometimes you're not sure if it's cosmetic or if it's actually gonna help or whatever um, and so it's got like a whole bunch of different stats and then you have all your um everything that you've have equipped right here it's very nice very streamlined um pretty nice the only thing that i don't like is it doesn't it's not it's kind of confusing to purchase things um and here like for say if we were gonna purchase this whole breach Z X I in X muzzle flashback muzzle um and so we have here equip now or activate later which is useful because like most free to play FPSs um you have to rent your weapons for here is a one day option a seven day option or a permanent option and so for if you rent this for one day it's 125 um gold pieces which is like get that easy in one match or in that seven days 700 a permanent it's 53 million um which is kind of sucky because this is just a muzzle this is a gun this is a muzzle this is the part you put on top in front of the gun this is like it's like a 20th of your your gun and it costs this much which is like i don't know i'm getting like uh like 300 gp uh, a game right now so, I mean, that's, that's 10, 11 games right there. So that's, that's quite pricey. Um, but yeah, that's how the, the model works. Um, and of course, you can pay, you can pay gold pieces, which is the in-game currency, or you can play, pay Zen, which is the, like, real money currency. Um, and so it only costs 15 Zen, and it costs 300 Zen. I really don't know what this translates into, to, dollars or pounds or euros or whatever but um yeah that's how the model works but i like the level of customization and how it actually like cosmetically changes your your gun it's not just a stat um that's that's just kind of a personal thing for me i think if it's gonna you know be an attachment it should look like you changed your gun if you're gonna change your gun but um yeah you can you got barrel mag magazine you can um get like um, incendiary magazines that do like damage over time after they hit the person. You can get explosives where you don't actually have to hit them. Um, you can get toxins, obscures the target's vision, whole bunch of different effects, um, and, which is really cool. And again, they all change the cosmetic view of the gun. And you can get any kind of scope on any kind of gun, which is really cool. You can make your shotgun a sniper rifle if you really want to. Um, so I like that freedom. Uh, it encourages, you know, you to um, change up your gameplay a little. That's really cool. And stocks, um, and weapon tag, which is just a fun little cosmetic thing. I have a, like a Mario mushroom here. Um, but you can get a chihuahua, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. A portal gun. Um, so that's really cool. And then you can change your, um, camo to anything again. And then you have your secondary, all the same stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, your secondary, uh, is like, mostly pistols, machine pistols, or shotgun. Um, and then we can go to equipment right here. And the armor, you can get armor, and this that actually does affect your um, 
your health and stuff right here, but it only affects it about a maximum, I'd say, of 15 to 10 percent total. Um, it, like once you add all your armor and all your gear and everything, so it's still pretty skill based. It's it doesn't like if you're worried about the RPG elements kind of messing up with the game, it really doesn't interfere a lot. And here you have your gear. So I have like a, a frag grenade here, but you can get EMP grenades or digital grenades. Um, HRV decoys, which I will show you in a minute, are freaking awesome. Then you can get an upgraded knife that kills instantly, stun mines, um, all kinds of stuff. You can get injection kits to revive people, um, repair tools to repair mechanical devices that are out, um, hacking stuff, um, and... Oh, it's, it's just really cool. Cloaking, I mean, you, you can get all kinds of stuff. And again, like, it all cosmetically shows, which uh, that's something that's really left out of a lot of FPSs, and I really like that. And then here are your um, kind of kill streaks if you're familiar with COD. Um, very cool, and you can switch these out for whatever. Um, and instead of, like, just calling these in, you have to go to kind of a, a shop and buy them, but still, it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, then you have nodes, which are kind of, like, gems if this was like Diablo or uh, World of Warcraft or something it's kind of like a thing you have a modifier on you uh, but you get those later um, and then your profile very cool um, you can customize your emblem uh, mine is obviously a cat with a mustache uh, because I'm awesome so but you can uh, change the color and stuff like that blah 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 and um, choose you know all kinds of crap so there you go and you can have titles just like COD and you can also here's all the stuff you unlock with your next level and it's a little confusing to buy stuff um, like can I buy stuff here you know, I can't buy stuff here but like it's not really clear where you unlock things but uh, whatever and then there's um, emotes which are um, just kind of things you can just do to you know flip off people or whatever Tebow <laughs> they have a Tebow I didn't see that that's pretty awesome um, and it's just a cosmetic thing to just annoy your friends um, at the end of the game it shows every all the top players and you can do your emotes there and um, moon people or whatever. And then here's an announcer voice. You can actually buy um, a Sea Nanners announcer voice, um, which is kind of awesome. By default, it's kind of this uh, like I don't know, robot lady. That's fine. Whatever. Ah, here's the Sea Nanner, Nanner voice. That's kind of awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the customization. And yeah, I think... Yeah, and you have inventory, so if you, when you unlock weapons by leveling up, you don't have to use them right away. Uh, that's kind of convenient. And, um, okay, so I'm going to show you the actual game now. Hopefully we can find a fast game. I'm only level 4. I haven't played this game too much, but I've gotten the hang of it so that I don't constantly suck. That being said, I'll probably do terrible here, just because I told you the guys that. <laughs> but that's okay! Deathmatch Proving Grounds. I have no idea what this means. Objective. I've never played Eliminate this game. All but that's okay. Eliminate enemy agents. First agent with... Oh. oh, so I'm going to be terrible at this game. I guess this is just a deathmatch, which is kind of cool. I've just been playing team games, so this will get a little... Take a little getting used to. Dang it. Dang it. No! Oh, and you can't even pronounce his name. That's not, that's like kick to the nuts. You can't, you can't even. That's not even fair. Okay. Oh, I have my single shot. Oh. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I thought I had my automatic gun. So anyway, this is, um... The game and something cool. Watch this. You can see everybody in the map. Um, that's HRV mode, which is like the thing that kind of makes this game unique. Um, and uh, oddly, that it doesn't feel overpowered either because everyone gets it and it it happens like it recharges fairly quickly. So oh, I'm gonna get this guy. No! This is the wrong gun for this map. Uh, anyway, 
Um, 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 um. Oh yeah, the HRV, super cool, super cool. That's what makes this title like unique. I can see everybody, but you can't fire while you're in that mode. So that's the trade-off there. Um. Um, but it makes it fun because, like, you can't really hide. Like, I mean, if you're remotely close to someone, you will be hunted down. Oh! And killed. Um. But that's okay. Also, the equivalent to kill streaks, I'll show you once I get enough money, um, is really awesome. Basically, you can, you can, um, I'll show you. That's what, oh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway, um, you can, you can, um, go to these, uh, like, weapon packs or store things and basically buy a giant rocket launcher or something. Um, oh, I saw, I saw, I saw, I anyway, um, so... You can buy rocket launchers or flamethrowers or just heavy weapons in general, or, or, um, near the, like, if you got a lot of money. Actually, it doesn't take that lot, that much, which should be patched. It's fairly easy to get this. You can get a mech. Yeah, that's right. A mech. Um, and that's really stinking cool. And it, it's... It's a little too easy to get, but because by the end of the game, there's like 50 billion mechs just around the game, and they're really hard to kill if you're just an infantry person. Um, even with hef heavy weapons, you have to hit them in a sweet spot, and uh, it's fairly hard to do. Hopefully I can... Um, once I get the money, I'll, I'll get into a mech. But, and the mechs are like... Oh. Oh, oh, oh my head! Oh, gosh! Oh! Um, the mechs are super powerful. Um, so, like, if, basically, if you're seen... Wow. Wow, you guys are probably, like, yelling at me right now. And you should! You should. Oh, gosh! Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, the mechs are super powerful, and they have, like... I mean, it, basically, if you're seen, you are dead by the mech. Um, the mechs are crazy powerful, which is weird because they're fairly easy to get on team games. Um, and, and, uh, you know, um, I haven't used my HRV. See, this, this takes some getting used to, but it's super useful. You just have to... It's kind of annoying. Oh, but this is one of the, the boxes where you can buy stuff. Like, I'm going to buy a rocket launcher. This is probably going to kill me. This is really stupid to buy right now. But hey. Hey, it's just for you guys. Just for you. I love you guys. So, here's my HRV. Oh, that guy threw a grenade at me. That's cool. And you can't move very fast while you have HRV. So, I'm going to pick... I'm going to camp. There we go. That worked. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap, crap, I missed. Dang it! <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. This isn't really how I normally play, but I'm just showing off for you guys. Or not showing off, depending how you look at it. But, um, you know, that's okay. Because, um, I don't really even like this gun. I must have accidentally picked it when I was showing you the weapons. Um... There's... Do, 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 do. If you guys notice, I do the, like, Call of Duty... Or, not Call of Duty, um... Counter-Strike crouch, like, just instinctively. It doesn't help you near as much as it does in Counter-Strike. Every time I see a guy, I'm just like... <gasps> it's great. <laughs> Good times in Counter-Strike. But, um, this, this game has, like, made a, um, a decent effort to distinguish itself from normal games, um... You know, with the HRV mode, 
which is, I mean, like, I've never really seen anything like that done. And it's cool because it, it's actually, like, it takes some getting used to. It, it's so useful, but, I mean, you can't really see the map and stuff. And you have to time it, what, like, when you're um, not out in the open and stuff. And you can't shoot while you have it, so it's kind of like a, a risk to use. Dang it, where did that person go? But I mean, with the weapon tags and the HRV mode and the um, the kind of new take on the um, kill streaks, I forget what they're called. They're not called kill streaks, but uh, in essence, that what they are. But it doesn't feel like a rip off of kill streaks because um, just the way how you you basically in each game you earn points. Um, Oh, hard suit. That's that's the mech. Dude, I can get a hard suit. Dude, I'm so getting that. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Um. But anyway, in if like per kill or objective stuff that you do, you get points, um, which you can spend on your kill streaks. So you don't automatically get your kill streaks. Your kill streaks depend on the money you've accumulated over time, which stays with you even after like you die. So it's not really a kill streak at all. <laughs> but it's still awesome. Okay, this right here. I'm gonna get hard suit. Okay, now I have to get outside without dying, because you can only summon them outside. Do 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 do. Summon, 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 summon. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. So it comes in from orbit like that. Gangsta. Okay. Now I die. The thing about the hard suit is you can't um, use HRV mode while you're in it. So that's kind of a trade-off. Um, but it has, I mean, it's got tons of armor. It's super hard to kill. I i only think I've been killed in, like, one hard suit out of maybe, like, the ten times I've been in it. You see that guy? Died instantly. I have, you have a Gatling cannon, and then you have a this, like, uh, railgun thing. And then you have an afterburner thing, um, but the trade-off with the afterburner is like after you shoot out, you um, after you use it, you're stuck for a little bit and you can't move. And the hard suit can be out maneuvered a lot, but um, yeah, there we go. So <laughs> I have barely a positive kill death ratio. <gasps> awesome. Yeah. Well, that's 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 uh <laughs> that's okay, I guess. <laughs> Um, and so here you get experience, and I leveled up, and then here you get good GP for how long you were in the match, if you won or not, how much, how well you did in combat, and then because I'm in the, um, holy crap, I got, I got a whole bunch of crap, anyway, um, because of how I'm in the, uh, noob server, I get more experience and, uh, GP, so, so that's about it, and then, after each game, you go to intermission, uh, which is what they call kind of the lobby between matches, and you can load, change your loadout. The only downside, this this is the biggest downside to this game that I found, you know, besides like buying um, buying uh, weapons permanently takes a whole lot of money. Um, loadouts, like, okay, I just unlocked one more loadout. But usually, you, you have to buy extra, like, loadout things, and they cost a ton of money. I don't know how much a thousand zen is, but this is the most... I mean, that's that's a pretty penny. Objective. So, um, that's really annoying, agents. because in mid-match, I'm, like, in that match you just saw, I was dedicated to this one gun I didn't mean to have. So, now I have two loadouts, uh, but it's still kind of annoying. It doesn't give you that much flexibility. So, anyway, that is... Um... That is... Blacklight. I forgot the name of the game. Blacklight Retribution. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, and if you have any questions about the game, seriously, let me know. Um, and if, if you found this informative, please like it and subscribe. And tell me if you want more things like this. I usually don't do sort of reviews like this, but I thought this one deserved it. So, thank you again so much for watching. And, as always, good night, good luck, God bless, and Godspeed.